Well, film historians say one silent movie created the genre of epic westerns. It was called The Covered Wagon, and it was the biggest blockbuster of 1923. And Bob, get this, it was filmed in a tiny Utah community on the Nevada border. Fox 13's Max Roth shows us. The tropes of Western movies, both good and bad, first formed in this little-known corner of southwestern Utah. Of all the places in the world, Hollywood chose Pruce Lake to film its first epic Western, the silent movie The Covered Wagon. It was 1922, and a cast of thousands descended on Garrison, Utah, population 109. The BBC chronicled it in 1980. The parents of director James Cruz were Mormons who had crossed the plains in covered wagons and settled in Utah. There was something so real about it. Lois Wilson was the film's female lead. They had advertised all through the West and everywhere. Anybody who had a Conestoga wagon would be given, I believe, $2 a day and they stock fed and they would be in this great picture. They got mostly locals who did not have to be taught to be pioneers. The newspaper, the Beaver County News, covered the production. The chief photographer, Carl Brown, told them it's the only location where it is possible to take the picture with the desired effect. He said by placing the camera in one position and by changing its direction, seven different scenes with entirely different backgrounds may be taken. They built the facade of Kansas City on bluffs above the lake. Nearby Arroyos became the Badlands. The peaks of what's now Great Basin National Park stood in for the Rockies and the Sierras. A wind machine turned Pruce Lake into the North Platte River. The film does have problems. They contacted me and said, would I be interested in rounding up about 500 Indians? Native Americans portrayed as primitive aggressors, a product of 1923 attitudes still evident in the 1980 documentary. Since 1923, hundreds of Westerns have dealt with the same theme. Some may even have done it better. For better and worse, it made its mark. But none can match the simple grandeur of the original. For it was made by people with a personal stake in the past, descendants of the pioneers who were themselves pioneers. 98 years later, this film meant to portray history is history itself. The people that you see on the screen are far closer in time to those early wagon trains than they are to 2021. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.